Mercedes Kitchen. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Where you are going to learn how to fall obsessively in love with your kitchen and with cooking. So today I have a spread here and we are going to learn how to make lobster roll. But instead of using lobster, we're going to use langoustine tails. And you may be asking yourself, what are langoustine tails? Well, I have a bag of it here. This is a 12 ounce bag of langoustine tails. They taste very, very similar to lobster. Um, very sweet, uh, very, very good, and bite, they're bite size. They are about 51 calories per serving and about half the price of lobster. And so I know you're saying, well, where can we get these? You can get um, langoustine tails at uh, Trader Joe's. And then you can call my favorite place, Amazon. They will have them delivered to your house. So we're going to move forward and learn how to make these. They are so delicious. So I have our ingredient, ingredients out here and we are um, going to use one stalk of celery. We have some salt here, half a teaspoon. Uh, I love using sea salt. And then we have our capers and um, our langoustine. I want to take one of these up and pick it up and show it to you. Um, they're very small, um, very tasty, and you're just going to love these. Um, we're also using some uh, parsley some uh, lemon juice, mayonnaise, and thyme. Thyme is becoming one of my very, very favorite uh, seasonings. And then over here I have a little cayenne pepper and my liquid gold again, um, some uh, smoked paprika. And we're gonna use some Cajun seasoning. You can use just about whatever Cajun seasoning that you have in your cabinet but this is called joe's stuff and usually when we go to new orleans i always uh, stock up on cajun seasonings and this is one of the ones i like but you don't have to go to new orleans to get it because they have joe's uh, stuff it's called joe's stuff on amazon i like it because it doesn't have salt in it and then um you can use some uh, pickled sandwich spread I have something here called Magnificent Sauce, and you can get it at Trader Joe's too. It's really kind of like sandwich spread, so we're going to use just a tad bit of that. Now, we are going to get started and pull all of this together and make us a wonderful sandwich. But while we're doing this, I'd like for you to just like and leave me a message and then subscribe to Sadie's channel so we can keep up with each other, okay? So we're gonna start off with our langoustine. Put it in the bowl here. These things are really, 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 really delicious. One of the things, things that you can do with the langoustine is you can use it in different other recipes. So um, let's see, we're gonna start off over here with our celery. It says one stalk. I cut up more because I just kind of uh, cook with my eyes sometimes. And one of the things I want to share with you about me cooking. <laughs> my mom never used a recipe. And so I cook with my eyes and taste too. And I don't really use a recipe, but I do take the time to write everything down so that my viewers will have a follower when you make this. So, a little bit of capers in there, and that's looking good right now. Then we're going to add a little salt. And it says one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we'll start with these seasonings over here. A little bit of Joe's stuff. I took a cooking class at um, the New Orleans School of Cooking, and my sisters and I we bought a whole bunch of seasonings and right, right after our cooking class. A little bit of liquid go. 
smoked paprika. And of course, you know, I like a little kick in all of my food. I'm a little heavy handed on the cayenne pepper. Now we're going to add some mayo. Just so you would know, you don't have to write all this down because if you would just click on that little button right down there in the corner, the little down arrow, just click on it and it'll take you right to the recipe. Right to it. I think I am going to add the rest of these capers in here. And then, to show you this about time all you need to do is just take your little stem and pull it straight down and there you got it I am going to make absolutely sure that I plant a lot of time in my garden this year because it really is starting to be one of my favorite seasonings so sprinkle some of that in here so there we are We've got our langoustines all made up and ready to roll. So, what are we going to put these on? If you go to the grocery store now, you probably see something that looks a little bit different with hot dog buns. And they're called Rios buns. And you can buy them uh, at any of the local grocery stores. I just happened to uh, see some yesterday at Kroger. And you can buy them at Trader Joe's too. But they're so cute and they make the perfect lobster rolls because you can brown them on each side and it's flat. They call them a hot dog bun. I don't know why they do, but you can make little sandwiches out of them. And it opens up just like that. It looks like two slices of bread and it opens up. And they brown really, really quickly. I'm gonna put a little butter on each side of these. Love my little butter dish here. My, one of my favorite things to do, little butter dish here. And you really do not have to refrigerate butter. You do not have to. I keep this out on my cabinet at all times. We're gonna put a little butter, just a little scant, as they used to call it, scant. Just a little scant of butter on each side. So now we're moving over to the stove and we are going to toast these on each side. And we'll be right back. All right, we're back and we're ready to plate the lobster roll. We have a lobster roll mixture ready and we have our sweet potato fries. We're going to just open these up. See how they open, uh, flap open, stuff them. Y'all, these look good <laughs> and they taste good. Yum, yum, yum. So, parsley on top. Add those here. Put a few fries. Yes. I made a little dip to go with the fries. And it's just some syrup and brown sugar and butter. Scrunch is awesome. Yes, that's just taste really good. This. Mm. this lobster roll is awesome, y'all. Go and get your ingredients. And make sure you try this. You're going to love it. Your family's going to love it. Can't go wrong with the brioche hot dog buns toasted on each side. And you can't go wrong with the langostinos. Enjoy. I'll see you next time, okay?